pressure was on for last year's grand finalists as their number one ruckman Rob Young went down with a serious knee injury in the opening round of this season. Two young unassuming players were forced to take control of the ruck contest for at least the first half of the season. Yes, we had a couple of setbacks early in the year with our ruckman and we had no choice but to give the young guys the opportunity, Cam and Fraser and some good boys in the reserves as well. Uh, but so far Cam and Fraser have uh, done the job for us. Meet 20-year-old Cameron right. Simons. He made his waffle debut last season and played nine games alongside Rob Young. Ball bounces in front of Simons. And get away from Parker. Simons has a shot. That would be some goal. Oh, that's a terrific effort. What about the pickup? If you don't mind, madam, I'm going to take him on and have a shot. It's been a big step from last year. I feel being thrown in the deep end helps you develop a lot more because you don't really have a chance to sit back. You kind of have to come forward and show what you got and... Yeah, just give it your all. 22 year old Fraser McDougall returns to Shark Park after a successful year for amateurs club Bull Creek Leaming and made his waffle debut in round one this year. Oh, up towards McDougall who reeled it in with the one hand. Yeah, look, definitely for the first few games I was um, not sure what to expect and, and definitely sort of thinking about that a bit, but now settling in a little bit more, getting a few more games under my belt. And if anyone is aiming to reach new heights, it's McDougal. But McDougal wins the tap for Eastermantel. Who stands at 190 centimetres, giving his opposition at least an eight centimetre advantage. It definitely doesn't hurt. I mean, I'm obviously lacking size as a height in, in the ruckman sense, but I've always had a decent leap from coming from a bit of a basketball background as well. So um, that definitely helps me out. Um, but going down forward, I've always backed myself in for the marks, so that's what, where I'm looking forward and going when I'm in the, in the forward line for the marks. Well, we picked Fraser as a centre-half forward against Swans and uh, the aim in the market to come into the ruck. So, and Simo was supposed to be the backup ruckman for Youngie or Griffo. So uh, they have surprised me to a certain extent, but uh, uh, yeah, it's been really pleasing. That's where I saw myself playing, but obviously the football uh, changes and with, with Youngie going down, uh, look, I'm happy to play wherever the team needs me and if, if that's in the ruck helping out Simo, then that's where I'm going to be playing. Fraser was a great pickup for us this year. Um, it's fantastic to see him come back. He um, he really fits our structure and um, what his Fremantle's about. Really, um, he does the hard work. He does the hard things. Um, he doesn't whinge. He um, he just does what's necessary and um, and goes above and beyond. And um, you can really see that with his progression this year. We've thrown him in the deep end. He's not the tallest ruckman going around. Um, really, he's a key position player, but. Um, He's really embraced the challenge that Stab's thrown to him and, um, yeah, he's, he's taking it in his stride, so it's really good to see. And despite this ruck combination being so new at waffle level, their junior playing days are coming in very handy. Yeah, well, I think um, we've probably got a bit of the underdog um, going for us, but definitely um, we back ourselves in confident. Obviously, I've played with Simo before, coming from the same junior club, and know how he goes and we sort of do well on the, the changeovers. Yeah, they've certainly developed, um, certainly since I've gone down, but um, their pre-season was uh, quite good. Um, yeah, they've, they've both really put in the hard yards and um, it's, it's really good to see. Good, good. Keep the ground going. Keep the ground going. Simo, hit the ground. Good work on the second run too, boys. There you go. He does well. Up big bank. Up big bank. Make sure you do it. Big bank. Get up. Get up. Rob Young has, has been around for a long time and he knows every little thing about every player and he'll sit down before most games and tell me things on how, how to beat each player and little things that I, I can do to improve my game. And the man responsible for the players' improvements is former East Fremantle and West Coast Premiership player Paul Harding. He's taken on the role of ruck coach. It's always good to work with the young blokes. Um, they, they ask a lot of questions in that, and I, I, like, I don't do a lot of talking to them. I'd rather them to put it into action more than words and that, but um, if they've got any problems, they ask, and hopefully I can give them some advice. And not a lot's changed from Harding's playing days of the 80s and 90s when it comes to winning a ruck contest. Any throw up around the ground, it's, you've got to be able to look after yourself to a point where you don't get jumped into as much by the other ruckmen, so you've got to, there's a specific technique which most ruckmen should know, but um, some just do it a lot better than others and it just stops you like getting a cork in the first five minutes of the game, then you're gone for the rest of the game. So this just helps you protect yourself.
Yeah. Having Paul is a good help because he, he has played a lot of football, a lot of AFL, and he knows what it's like to be a footballer, which is handy. And um, he does give a lot of good advice just to rest up for games and when, when, when we're out there just to show our dominance and, and, and aggression. The important point for a ruckman is to get the ball to their teammates and Harding says it's sometimes hard to put that into practice during training sessions. It, it, it is quite difficult because the game situations are completely different than what training situations are uh, because you've got blokes trying 100% to stop your opponent getting the ball so uh, we can just work as much as we can on set plays um, again, if that changes, they've got to have another backup system to go through. So there's a, there's a lot to learn on their behalf. And then it comes down to how the, the umpire bounces, throws the ball. Yep. You know, they're not all dead straight. So it's all throws everything out, but and that's all part of the learning curve. Yeah, with the taps in the right spot and you, you get first use on it, get a, get a clearance going forward. And the forwards love, always love, love it coming in quick. So it definitely helps if you can put it in the right spots. That's why we uh, work on it so much with Paul. We've done a lot of video work. Um, training often pulling them aside and telling them exactly where their running patterns are um, their fitness has increased and it's really improved to allow them to get to certain spots around the ground this year so um, yeah the boys are going pretty well in that regard so they've still got a little bit more learning to do as I said but as the season goes on um, they'll get in those right spots more often and uh, get to more contests. Harding is trying to improve Simons and McDougall's defensive play in order to combat the more experienced Ruckman. I think every Ruckman's got to have a defensive side to him. Daniels couldn't take it. Simons was there. Surely you, you get Ruckman that, that can kick goals and all that, but a good Ruckman will do that and defend well. Dean Cox, for instance, you know, he's always in the back line and he's always kicking goals. That just comes down to fitness, reading of the play. Um, that's just the overall package of a good Ruckman. So that just comes down to um, experience and just how much they want to learn. The coaches and the experienced Rob Young all agree on what these two players bring to the club. Cam, it's his height and his build. He's got good strength. He's got to work on the, you know, a few things which he knows. And um, with Fraser and that, it's uh, you know he's got the strength, his uh, second efforts and everything, which is um, all part of it. Fraser's a natural competitor. Just competes really hard at every contest. And Simo's quite a talented. Uh, athlete with good coordination. Cam's height, number one, but um, he's, a, he's a really aggressive, um, competitive bloke. It sounds like you have a bit of work cut out for you when you return. Yeah, absolutely, but um, it, it's just good to have the young blokes around, their enthusiasm and that. Um, it's good for an older guy to, um, to have the young guys around. Well, they really have unearthed some real talent each from Adelaide, haven't they? And uh, a lot of it has been on display here this afternoon, not just their young up-and-coming players, but their experienced players as well. A wonderful team performance by East Fremantle. And while the fans are getting excited about the performances of these two ruckmen, Harding's not convinced. Well, at least not this early on in the season. I get a lot of feedback from the coaches and all that stuff, and like, um, there's a few things I haven't been happy with what I've heard. I, I don't think just this short a time into the season you can be too happy with how they go. You've got to weigh it up over the whole season. So um, ask me that question at the end. <laughs>